Davey, how's it going? Um, sorry about delaying getting this to you. I'm having a problem with the the carb, so uh, it's um, and there's only two weeks left on the trip, so it's a bit frantic. Yeah, listen. So the vapor, um, as I said, I had a mounted on a bracket there. Um, you can wire it into power, so when you turn power onto it, the back it backlights, and one lead will go down towards the kind of the coil here that the, where the spark plug is. Now what I did is I got a more accurate result and what I, I soldered it onto this um you'll see this blade here for the coil. Uh I soldered it there and uh, I think you get a more accurate result. That's giving you your uh, RPM reading. Um and yeah and then the power can as I said it's a battery that powers this but it does have a power uh lead that um you can wire to any kind of power source 12 volt source and if you want it switched well then if you look up um you know how to wire wire switch power to your key and um, there's loads of stuff online about how to do that but it will run perfectly fine on a battery um and after that there's uh, in the kit there's a water um, or a coolant temperature that basically is just here so take out that screw, run that coolant temperature up, and that there'll be a temperature up here. You switch through the arrows or the modes, and you'll see the temperature up here. And then there's obviously the speedo. Uh, I haven't, I haven't actually fitted mine yet. So uh, the speedo will come down here, and I think there's a magnetic bolt that goes into one of these, and the speedo will be inside here. Uh, I've yet to do that.